good day everyone, how's it going? I'm Sean David, welcome back to my show, thanks for tuning in. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at NBA legends reacting to LeBron James calling himself the GOAT. Now he won his fourth NBA championship and the conversation about who's the greatest of all time is getting bigger and bigger, so it's really interesting to see what NBA legends had to say when LeBron James not so long ago made his opinion. But before we get to that, let me give a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thanks a lot you guys for supporting the show, it's really appreciated. Alright, enough said, let's dive right into today's episode. LeBron James, a player that normally doesn't need no introduction. Drafted in the year 2003, he dominated his era more than any other player. Now winning his fourth NBA championship, the conversation about who's the greatest player of all time or the GOAT is at its peak. For many of the young generation who have never seen Michael Jordan play, except maybe for some YouTube highlight videos, it's hard to understand why LeBron James shouldn't be the GOAT. He won countless accolades, made it to the NBA Finals almost every single year, and even I as a hardcore Michael Jordan fan gotta admit that LeBron James is really a unique talent. But I personally will never ever change my mind about that Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time. But it looks like even LeBron James feels that he now surpassed MJ and he's now the greatest player. And that was even before he won his fourth ring. Now, let's have a look at what exactly LeBron James said. In 2018, and where we will live probably for the rest of our <laughs> lives. The argument about the greatest of all time, which LeBron James relit this week when he was heard by everyone on the latest episode of More Than an Athlete, currently available on ESPN Plus, saying this. That one so, right there made me the greatest player of all time. For so many reasons. I was super, super ecstatic to win one for Cleveland because of the 52-year drought. Like, I was ecstatic. Like, obviously, I showed that, that he, the first wave of emotion was when y'all everyone saw me crying. Like, that was all for 52 years of everything in sports going on in Cleveland. And then after I stopped, I was like, that one right there made you the greatest player of all time. As you can imagine, when LeBron James said that he's the GOAT, many NBA legends felt that they had to comment on that. So let's have a look what some of the greatest players of all time had to say to that. We heard LeBron call himself the greatest player of all time on that More Than an Athlete broadcast. He was talking about how he felt after the 2016 championship. Well, Danny Ainge not only disagrees, he strongly disagrees. Here's what he said about LeBron and a local sports radio show in Boston. Quote... His career's not over. I'd just like to know why he's saying that. I don't know. Maybe he thinks that sells. Maybe he's taking the Donald Trump approach and trying to sell himself. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> follow that, Scotty Pippen. That's a tough one to follow. I mean, that's, uh, that's Danny Ainge's opinion. Right. And, you know, we all have our opinion. But my problem is more so with LeBron. If, if you are the greatest player... If people are saying you are the greatest player or if people are saying Michael Jordan is the greatest player, why do you need to say it? Right. Michael Jordan has never, ever said he's the greatest player to ever play the game. Why? He's respected all the other players before him. So for LeBron to say that, he's sort of pulling himself out of it because you can't say you're the greatest player. You have to allow your peers in the world to say that. So the context of when he said it, just because, you know, if we're having this discussion, he was talking, sitting around with his friends, and he was saying that when he won that 2016 title, he said his first thought was Cleveland. Wow, we've done this first time in 52 years. And he said my second thought as I was, you know, running around the court being crazy was, wow, I did it. This is what makes me the greatest player of all time. You can disagree with him. I get it. And you can disagree with him saying that. And by the way, that conversation was for a documentary that was supposed to appear on ESPN Plus. So he knew cameras were rolling. It's not like they caught him in a moment. Well, I, so I to think your it's, point, he I should think maybe, you don't pretty think great just that a guy won three titles, mm -hmm. left for two years, came back and won three more. That is considered greatness to me. Yeah. Winning ultimately decides who the greatest players are in the game. Well, as it turns out, back in 2009, <laughs> the GOAT, Michael Jordan, was asked by our pal Michael Wilbon about his place on the all-time list of 
NBA greatness. And here is what MJ had to say. I don't want it in a sense because I think it disrespects Will Chamberlain, uh, Jerry West, you know, all the guys that prior to me, I never had a chance to play against. You know, what everybody's saying I am, I never had the chance to compete against other legends that, that was prior to me. Um, and when I hear it, I cringe a little bit because, you know, it's, it's a little bit embarrassing because no one knows, you know, I never had the chance of once again to play against those guys. I need one word answer, Chauncey, greatest Michael. of all time. Greatest of all time, Jalen? Airness. Greatest of it's all time? Unanimous. Okay, thank you very much. That being said... Jalen, I want to start with you. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about LeBron saying that about himself? First and foremost, to me, LeBron officially passed Larry Bird and got into the top five when he won his final championship, his only championship in Cleveland. In my mind, he still has a way to go clearly to pass Michael Jordan, Bill Russell, 11 championships, 13 years, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The captain. And my heart just won't let him pass magic just yet. <laughs> I, I, I got to see a that's little fair. bit more. And so that's where I'm going on this topic. I appreciate how he's bringing this up. Some millennials that only saw him play Smart. and continue to say he's the guy. But guys that's been around the game and young ladies, we, we've seen something else that's really special as well. <sighs> I, I agree with everything you're saying, Jay. I, I love it. I love, love that he stepped out himself? there. I love that All he right. stepped out there and said that. I don't remember any other player ever coming out and saying, I'm, I was, I'm the greatest of all time. <laughs> I've never Maybe seen there's... that before. I love that he's done that. <laughs> he, he's on the Mount Rushmore, in my opinion. Um, but I, I, I can't put him at the top. That's there's fair, no, that's way, there's no way I can put him at the top. And at the end of the day, and he, he talked about this, that win, beating that team, made him the greatest of all time. Maybe if he would have hit that shot that Kyrie hit, I mean, that's, that is a I could part of the see narrative. him maybe saying that. But I, I can't go there. I'm sorry. I you know what? Out. We should turn to our resident self-promoter. <laughs> no. Before, <laughs> Paul, I, don't, Paul. I don't know if you can self-proclaim this, because when you think of all the great players, like Jalen said, Kareem Magic, none of them has never come out and said, I'm the GOAT. You know, that's something up to, like, the fans, the writers, and, and former players. You know, so when they come out with these ESPN rankings and all these other rankings, you know, let that be the judge, I think. You know, but the self-proclaiming, he's definitely up there. He's definitely top five in my book. But I think when you look at the accolades, the championships, I mean, Jordan, Magic, Kareem, they're all up there. Um, I've never heard uh, one of the greatest say they were the greatest of all time. That was... Uh, that was very interesting to me. Kevin, what, what are your thoughts? Oof, man. It's, I, you know what? It's one thing. We all sit at this table all the time and sing his praises. Yeah. I, I think LeBron is a great player. Yeah. I just think that's disrespectful, honestly, to Bill Russell. Who, what did Bill Russell do? Won every time. He said, all right, fellas, you want to win? Come with me. We'll go on the floor. That's yeah. what this game's all about. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah. I mean, he, uh, and, you know, and he was raised on time all and, levels, though, Kareem. The best in high school, yeah, yeah, the best in college, uh, and the best in, in the pros. That's what time. I'm saying. You, you know, Michael. I mean, yeah. th there's just so many. Two of my good, Larry and Magic. I mean, just led teams and, and turned the league around. You don't need to say that about yourself. Let other people say that for you. I mean, I was kind of surprised because I had read about it. But I, that's the first time I had actually heard him say it. it made me the goat. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like, okay, you know, I, I, and I love the kid. I think he's a great player. I think he's been great for the game. But let other people say that for you. Yeah. I just, I just, it, to me, it's just disrespectful for a lot of people that came before you that were great, great, great players. And you said it to begin with, Chris. You can't compare errors and all that stuff. All these guys have been so great in their era. I just didn't like. I, I didn't like the way that sound sounded to me. Just didn't yeah. like it. You know, I, and, and everybody knows I, I, I love LeBron, but I'm, I'm going to call time out on this one because, and, and I'll speak definitely to LeBron or I'll say it to his face. When, but you, you never, there's a certain thing about greatness that demands that you have humility mm -hmm. with greatness. Now, I've never heard, even though we argue about Michael Jordan being the greatest of all time or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar being all, the greatest of all time, LeBron James being the greatest of all time, we have those arguments mm -hmm. in debate. I have never heard Michael Jordan say he's the greatest of all time. Yes. Even though he may think that, even though Kareem may mm -hmm. think that, right? You just don't come out and say that. Now, 
in this era, you know, maybe it's okay for people to come out and say that. All I know, if I was in the league right now, and you talking about you the greatest of all time, dude, I'm getting ready to do you. I'm, I'm, I'm coming at you. Like, and, and you, may, you may be, but to, to say that is just totally disrespectful to me as one of your competitors, as one of your teammates, as someone in your generation right now. It's just, you, you don't come out and say that. So with, with greatness, there's a certain amount of humility that goes with that. Now, somebody will probably come back and say, well, Muhammad Ali said I'm the greatest, but that was a single man sport. Yeah, individual that sport. That was an individual yeah, sport. Yeah. Tiger Woods can make the argument sure. he's the greatest yeah. because it, it's single. Yeah. But when you saying, and by the way, Muhammad Ali was saying he the greatest because, you know, he was getting in the ring and he'd knock you out. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 you know, right. But, you know, for, to be able to take that stand and to take that position in, in this day and age in a team sport, you should have some humility that goes in. The one thing that always confuses me a little bit is when LeBron James on the one side says that he's the greatest of all time, but on the other hand, he also many times mentioned that he felt that Michael Jordan was the greatest player of all time. Let's have a look. Yeah, he was back when, when he came back the first after the first retirement. Oh, um, it was a very joyous moment for, for my community. Uh, for myself, for my friends, um, just having the greatest basketball player ever, you know, coming back playing the game, you know, I needed that inspiration growing up in the inner city, you know, it was like I kind of like lost, uh, lost a superhero when he retired, someone that I kind of needed to help me you know, some way, somehow, even though he didn't know it. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do me a favor. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to hear a podcast with me and former NBA legends like Dennis Rodman, Sean Camp, Dominique Wilkins, Tim Hardaway, Alonzo Mourning, and so on and so on, please check out the Basketball Time Machine podcast on iTunes and on Spotify. All right, that was it. You all be healthy. Take care and goodbye.